about some major changes in my life. As you guys know, I got married, we moved to a new home, I went through pregnancy and childbirth, all while juggling my career, and of course, not to mention going through this pandemic with all of you guys. So, ang dami talagang nangyari, and all of these experiences have led me to becoming more conscious and careful when it comes to our health. Even when juggling my daily tasks, I never neglect the importance of our well-being because now, not only am I taking care of myself, but I also have to take care of my baby and my family. I don't want to take any risks that would compromise our health. So since restrictions are starting to ease up in the Philippines, I know that a lot of you guys are getting excited to really go out, meet your friends and your family, but that doesn't mean that we should forget about the precautions to stay safe. So today, I'll be doing a little scientific experiment to show how we can take the necessary steps to stay healthy and bacteria-free. Before we start the experiment though, I'll be inviting a guest to explain the importance of protecting our bodies from germs and bacteria. He's the principal scientist for PNG in Asia, Middle East, and Africa, and he's also been with PNG for the past 14 years. And we had a great conversation on what it means to do proper hand washing to be able to protect our family from bacteria and germs. David, thank you for joining us here today. Oh, it's a pleasure. Nice to see you. Today, you know, I'll be doing the experiment and showing everybody how it works. But I think it's even more important to have that conversation first, right? About protecting our bodies from germs and bacteria. So my first question for you is, in everyday life, what are the most common ways that we get exposed to germs and bacteria? I'd like to pose a question back to you first. Which would you say has more germs, a toilet bowl or a kitchen sponge? I would say the toilet bowl. Tests have been done where they simply swab both surfaces mm -hmm. and found that the kitchen sponge actually has more germs. The reason is that we clean a toilet bowl much more often and better than we clean a kitchen sponge. This just goes to illustrate how germs, first of all, are invisible. The places we think that germs are lurking, the more obvious places are actually not where germs are. They often are hiding in counterintuitive places. Uh, so think of any surface that's hard to clean or infrequently clean for some reason. Phones, light switches, remote controls, the bottom of our bags, bus handles, all of these things are not cleaned too often. Um, and when they've been tested, have high amounts of germs that can be harmful to our health, really. The main way, obviously, that these germs get into our bodies is through our hands. If the surface is germy, that actually could be perfectly fine as long as we are cleaning our hands frequently, right? So it's called, in, in the world of microbiology and public health, it's called breaking the chain of transmission because the hands are the main way in which germs enter our body. Definitely. And as you mentioned earlier, you know, uh, breaking the transmission of germs is the most important thing. And from holding so many things, touching our faces, holding our, our phones, I mean, it's like a, it's it's another part of our body, right? Whenever we're holding our phone. So it's, it's really something that we have to do. And of course, to wash our hands with soap. Would you say that that's one of the main mistakes that Filipinos and I guess everybody make when it comes to hand washing that we don't? don't really consider that soap is so important in that process? Yeah, you know, it's interesting. We did a survey in the Philippines uh, last year and uh, less than half of Filipinos uh, wash their hands with soap. Um, that's what we found. Now, as you say, really, people all over the world forget to wash their hands with soap. And we found probably some some worse statistics uh, in other parts of the world as well. It's just people are often in a hurry. I think uh, in general society is much more aware these days uh, since the pandemic that it is important to wash your hands with soap. Um, but I think there's a factor of convenience where people are in a hurry and they don't realize the importance of hand washing and germs are not visible. 
and I guess that's why it's so important to educate people, right? And that's why we're doing this video so that everybody could watch this, check it out, how to properly wash their hands and see in the experiment how it gravely impacts the product that you use, the soap that you use gravely impacts the kind of hand washing that you get to do. So here are some things that you'll be needing for our experiment. Glow germ, UV light, safeguard, running water, and a clean towel or paper towels. First, I'll rub some glow germ onto my hands and then place my hands under the UV light so we can see the germs that are on my hands right now. Next, I'll wash my hands properly with safeguard and water for 20 seconds. You can sing a nursery rhyme or maybe a 20 second chorus of a song you love to help you track the time. Make sure not to miss any spots. Now I'll dry my hands with a clean towel, then place my hands back under the UV light to see how effective my hand washing is in removing germs and bacteria. Let's see the improvement! So David, I've already finished this experiment with the glow germ and of course with Safeguard. What is the science behind this? The science behind this uh, experiment is fundamentally, uh, first of all, germs are invisible. And so we don't know if our hand washing habits are effectively removing germs. Now, glow germ is not actual germs, but it's a sticky substance, sticky in a way similar to germs, and it glows in the dark. So you can see where the germs are collecting on your hands, and you can also see how well uh, your your hand washing approach is removing the germs. And I think there's like the seven steps, right? The seven steps of hand washing. And this is what we should be following carefully. So for those who aren't yet familiar with this, what are the seven steps? Very fundamentally, you start by, once you've applied the soap, you rub your hands palm to palm together. Then one hand on top of the other, and then you interlace the fingers and then you rub the back of your hands this way and repeat this palm to palm interlacing the fingers. Then after that, you would proceed to um, the thumb, making sure you, you work, wash the thumbs. And then what I remind my kids is the bird. So make sure you get the tips of your fingers because they can very easily be trapped under your fingernails and you rub your hands, the tip of, tips of your fingers, in the palms then the backs of your fingers because the interlacing doesn't necessarily get the backs of your fingers this way so you do this and then of course the wrists okay you need to wash the wrists as well because germs can get all the way up there and then you rinse so those are seven steps i hope you know um you caught them all it's not easy and you know it's a little bit of a, a feat of a multitasking you have to remember all seven steps and then sing happy birthday that's, <laughs> that's a real challenge you got right there but i think as you said earlier joyce i love the word you use which is habit um once it becomes a habit it becomes unconscious and easy to do just like brushing your teeth is it true that safeguard can remove 99.9 percent .9 of germs and what exactly does that mean Oh, absolutely, it can. Uh, and we, we wouldn't put a claim like that out without testing. We're, we're obsessed with testing. Um, so the way we, we do it is, um, you know, we maybe apply a certain amount of a test germ on a person's hand or on, you know, a, a sample of artificial skin. And then we remove or we wash it with a safeguard soap treatment. And then we test the germs that remain after that. We actually go a step further. We don't just remove the germs. Uh, we also protect against germs in between washes. And the way we do that is uh, through the active ingredient because the active ingredient in Safeguard actually remains on the skin of the hands, even after rinsing. So the Safeguard pro provides a protection so that you know, it prevents the germs from growing and multiplying between washes. Would you have any advice here to anybody who's watching right now uh, on how they can better do this, protecting their family and themselves during these times? Well, I would say start by being a good example. Wash your hands frequently. If you can, make it fun. 
you know, choose a good soap that you enjoy using yourself and the rest of the family will follow suit. David, thank you again for joining us here today. And thank you so much for the information that you shared with us. You're welcome, Joyce. It's a pleasure to meet you. Have a great day. There you have it, you guys. We just saw firsthand how effective proper hand washing is in protecting our bodies from bacteria. I'll make sure to show this to the rest of my friends and family, syempre sa mga kasama namin dito sa bahay, so they can also be more conscious in washing their hands as well. Katulad ng sinabi ni Doc David kanina, di ba? They did that experiment that it really changed the lives of the communities around them. Kapag alam nila yung proper hand washing, to protect their families and themselves from germs and bacteria. Thanks to Safeguard's superior protection against germs, I can now be sure that Wancho, Liam, and myself are safe from bacteria that could be harmful to us. Safeguard has InfiniShield technology that slows down the regrowth of germs, bacteria, and fungi after every wash. This not only ensures protection against common illnesses, but also prevents body odor as well. InfiniShield is an active ingredient that makes Safeguard uniquely effective at preventing the growth of disease-causing germs on your loved ones long after hand washing. Up to 12 hours yen. And you know guys, not only does Safeguard protect us from germs with our products, but they also make an effort to help Filipinos through the company's CSR initiatives. To date, SFG has donated more than $150 million worth of support in the pandemic. And the most recent activity that they had is the support of school reopening by providing hand wash training and soaps to pilot schools from the DepEd through the help of MWF. Alam nyo naman guys, it's so important to choose brands that not only help us protect ourselves and our families, but also contribute in a really, really great way to our Filipino communities and of course, to our Filipino kids. That's really an extra step to help our communities. Again, thank you to Safeguard for partnering with me on this video and for helping spread awareness on how we can take better care of our health. Don't forget to share this video with a friend or your family and of course, remember to show them the proper way uh, guys ha, yung mga natutunan nyo today uh, diba? of hand washing and how to stay germ free. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you on the next one. Stay safe everybody. Paalam!